What's up everybody, it's Dr. Fresh Luigi. Today I'm going to show you how to install the server map that we used on the end of Minecraft from about February 20th to about May 20th. So, chances are if you're watching this, you're on the forum, and this will be the file that you downloaded. This contains the map and all the server information that you need to play the map and be able to find everything that you would want. So, uh, this is a zip file, so you would just extract to TEOM the folder and this is what you'll get. I went ahead and skipped that because that takes about 10 minutes. And so this is what's inside of the zip file. You have the mock server folder, plugins folder, world folder, forge download link, readme file, and the mod pack version which is 2.3.1. So the readme, f f uh, the readme file just has everything in here that I'm going to go over on the video. So that's just if you didn't aren't we're gonna watch the video. So first thing you have to do is go down here and type in percent app data percent. Let me just type that properly. And this is your dot minecraft folder. So you're gonna go ahead and uh not worry about this but instead create a new folder and go ahead and call it T E O M two point three point one this goes to the mod pack version and this will help you keep track of everything that way it's in its own separate thing so you're going to go and open it create a new folder called saves and put the world in it now this is the world that we used on the server and so that has all the player data and everything in it but as you know it's modded so this is the mod pack you want to go and drag that over and extract here Alright, and then you can just go ahead and move this back over here or delete it. So, next you're going to need to open the Forge download link. And as you can see, it's already on the 1.7.10 page. And they need to get the Forge version that we use on the server, which was 13.3.1. 388 which is right here and so you're gonna go ahead and look for that version and go ahead either and download the installer or the installer windows if you have windows and then you're gonna wait for the skip button to appear this is all an ad so just ignore everything down here and click skip and that will start the download you know wait for that to finish which for some reason my Google Chrome never finishes a download and then open your downloads folder or wherever you saved it and start the launcher alright and then you're going to make sure it just says install client and it's in the dot minecraft folder not this folder and then click OK and it'll install alright now it might say you need to play vanilla minecraft first or run the vanilla launcher just do whatever it says if you haven't played vanilla 1.7.10 you'll have to do that first awesome so you go ahead and X out of the downloads folder and then start your vanilla minecraft launcher okay now, I already have this file created, so you're going to click New Profile, and you're going to want to name it whatever you want, whatever helps you remember it. And then over here, where all this these files are, you want to copy this. This is the p file path, and so you're going to want to paste it in right there. And then is what it, where it says use version, you want to take the drop down menu and make sure you use Forge 1388-1710. And then that's all you need to do. So you save profile and then double check to make sure on the right profile and click play.
Alright, so the game launched and you'll notice it's super laggy. And that's just because you need to adjust your video settings. So you just need to go to options, video settings, animations, all off. And you can see that, that immediately improves it. So then you just want to go ahead and change everything down just to make it so that it runs a little nicer. And see, so yeah, it just really helps to just turn everything to the minimal. So now you'll notice that it's, it seems it's a little more normal. And so then you're going to go into single player, and boom, there's the world. So you just got to let the world load up. Modded, uh, when you're loading up a world, can be kind of spastic. This world is, um, I don't know, I, thought, I think it's about, yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. Let's see, let's see how big the world is. one point nine seven gigabytes almost two gigabytes and that's a smaller world so you don't really need these anymore uh, I'll show you how to do the server in another video oh well we do need that that one so, to open this again. so uh, while this world is loading I'll go ahead and read you the description of the world this is the world that we used from about February 20th 2015 to May 20th, 2015. Some of the highlights are Spawn at 00, zero and Eggland at 760, negative 7434. So this is the world with the original Eggland. This is the first world with 1.7. This is the first world where the server actually had a decent amount of players on it and enough to build a small community. So there is a reason why I included the plugins folder. This is all the plugins and plugin data that we used, and you will use some of it when you're doing the mock server, but again, another video. So the really the only stuff in here that you would want to use would be in the townie data folder. So let's go townie and data. And this is all the data for townie, including resident data, town data, nation data, and, and so on and so forth. So if you open this uh, residents list, you will actually see that it's a list of every single person ever to play on the server. There's Clockworks Robot and DJT, the King Crafter, everyone, everyone in Eggland loves him. <laughs> but yeah, these are every, this is every player to play on the server. And so you can actually see that there are 258 people that played on this iteration of the server. There's Ninja and MC Rager and Bliss Freak. So it's pretty interesting to go through here. Some people you don't know, like the pink one. But that's not all. There's you can also open the residence folder and it has a file for each resident and you can see the the detailed uh, data for each of them. Obviously this is in alphabetical order. And uh you can go ahead and see go to mine. And you can see that I was in the town Iron Gate, or uh, and so this this would allow you to see what town everybody's in. So this DJT is in Eggland. Furthermore, uh, the town's file has a list of every single town, and the town's folder has every single town and more uh, detailed data. So for example, Iron Gate, you can see. Uh, well, that's a bad example, but for Eggland, for example, you could see what nation they're in, the mayor, and the people who are assistants, and then all the residents up here, Aiden and everybody. You could see their town board, protection status, and the interesting thing is you could see their spawn. And so these are the coordinates of Eggland's spawn. This would be the X, the Y, and the Z. And these would be the angles. Just, I think that this is the angle for up and down, and this is the angle for left and right. So, we we'll go ahead and now that the world's loaded. So it appears that I am in Eggland. Let me just bump up my brightness. 
I have a fear to do that. And then you'll notice that you do not have access to any commands. So you won't be able to teleport to anything because this was a survival server. And so you might be on a survival mode. I'm not sure. And so the way to fix that, you could either just use the NEI to change your game mode and your uh, time of day. But, let me turn down the render distance. But the better way to do it would be to go to open to LAN and then allow cheats on. And this will start the LAN world and then you'll have uh, the cheats. So you'll teleport and set the time. Alright, so it seems the lag has finally calmed down. So yeah, if you open it to LAN, you'll be able to do commands. You'll be able to bypass uh, security stations. For example, Gamer God over here had his house guarded by that security station in there. Uh, but now it's not. And you'll also be able to open any personal saves to see what goodies they have hidden away. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely a memorable world with s the supreme overloads, overlords of the world, Eggland and their train system, and Gamer God with this weird tower thing. Uh, this world might not be the very final version, but this was the last backup that was made. And so, it, if like Eggland was bombed or whatever, then if, in the last days, then that this won't reflect it. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the world. Thank you for watching. And thank you for playing our server.